Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I enjoy being creative and love trying new tricks. My goal for this channel is to challenge myself and create fun stuff for myself. If you want to see me explore ideas and figure out ways to DIY a variety of stuff, click the subscribe button. Last week, I drew my dog staring out the window on my iPad. Check it out, if you haven't already. Here's my War Greymon figure from 1999. War Greymon is a character from the TV show Digimon. He is the final evolution form for Agumon. The special thing about this figure is that it can transform from Agumon to War Greymon and vice versa. As you can see, you can see Agumon's face on its back. This was one of my all-time favorite figures from my childhood. However, recently there's an amplified version of this figure released. And I had to get my hands on it. Just look at that. This figure is so much better in every way. There's so much more angular shapes and lines, making him look more aggressive and sharp. Now let's compare the two War Greymon figures. Oh, there's no contest. The new figure is definitely the better version of the two. I'm sorry old War Greymon. I still like you. You'll be securely stored in one of my many toy boxes. Now back to this newer War Greymon figure. Another reason why I like this figure more is because there are more points of articulations on this figure. Which means I can do more cool poses with him. Random fun fact. I have worked as a photographer for the majority of my career. I usually photograph actual living creatures such as humans and bunnies. But with this figure. I want to try photographing toys instead. Using posing and lighting skills I learned from working at a photo studio. So first. Let's start with a simple pose. One simple trick to posing is to make sure the pose itself isn't symmetrical. Angle the subject so it's not straight on. This will make the pose look more dynamic. Which is what I want for a figure like War Greymon. Alright this looks pretty good. Now I just need to photograph him properly. So. Can I make it? First, I got to adjust the lighting. I don't want the lighting to look too flat. The lighting and the pose should complement each other. I want a more dramatic kind of lighting. Alright. War Greymon. Turn your head towards me a bit. Point your right hand at the camera. That's perfect. Sorry old habits. Here's the shot. Looks pretty good. Now let me do some quick edits. Uh, this looks great. He looks like a warrior ready for battle. Okay, next pose. I want to replicate the DG evolution sequence from the show. War Greymon is just standing looking off to the side. Let's change the lighting again. That looks good. Now let's redo the background. In the original show, he was standing on a lava-like terrain with giant texts behind him. There we go. That looks exactly like the original show. This is so fun. Okay, maybe one more pose. Let's do an even more dramatic action pose. Oh no. No 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 no. Let's pretend that never happened. My photography mentor used to say. If it feels unnatural, it means it'll look good. Oh no. Not again. In this case. It does not apply haha. If it feels unnatural it may snap off. I am usually better at posing than this. I have never snapped anyone's limb off their bodies. 
Alright, this is War Greymon's signature attack pose. I need to use a stand to help prop him up since it's a jumping pose. Alright, pretend you are holding on to a giant watermelon and you just slipped. Perfect. Camera. Light. Action. The lighting is a bit more dramatic for this pose because I will be adding an energy attack above his head. Perfect. Alright. I think I did a pretty good job today. I get to flex my photography muscles a bit. I get to do a photo shoot with my toys for the first time. Let's have a look at the original photos and the final edits. What do you think? I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please leave a comment below. If you like what I've done, please share this video and give this a like. Like and subscribe for more content like this. I can make it, so can you.